Welcome to Bow Panel. As with the construction of traditional property, the first step is to prepare and lay the foundations. The panels are lighter than traditional materials, which mean the foundations can be much shallower and narrower, using less raw building materials and saving time and money. Whilst the foundations are drying, corrugated bars are set at approximately 350 mm high into the foundations and 400 mm apart in a staggered formation. The panels will be attached to these bars at a later stage. Once the foundations have set and hardened, the vertical panels can begin to be placed in position, preferably starting with one corner of the build, and working outwards, forming the different rooms according to the building's designed floor plans. It is advisable initially to hold the vertical panels in place with supports, whilst adjusting the vertical level with a plumb line or spirit level. Once the true vertical has been found, adjust the supports to compensate and begin to attach the panels to each other and to the corrugated bar set in the foundations. It is very important to attach the panels to the foundations and to each other properly using wire in order to guarantee the continuity of the mesh across all elements of the system. This job can be carried out using automatic tools or simple engineering pliers. Once all the vertical walls have been installed, the next step is cut out the openings for the windows and doors. Alternatively, you can cut out the positions in advance before the walls have been erected, depending on your preference. This allows you to implement changes to a job on site. After the openings have been created, the window and door frames can be cemented into place. All of the joints between the panels must be reinforced inside and out using angular and flat mesh in order to ensure continuity across all of the wall panels. The mesh reinforcement will ensure that the system works as a single element once the concrete has been sprayed. The lightness and simplicity of bow panel means that installation on site is fast and easy, which saves money primarily on account of the decreased installation time needed. Once all of the vertical wall panels have been built and attached, you can install the horizontal ceiling panels which also form the first floor. The floor-to-wall joints are classed as articulated joints and are a vertical continuation of the concrete seam of the load-bearing walls. The staircases are made from special panels with step dimensions tailor-made for each project. Each staircase panel has four ribs, which must be properly assembled to fit the landings. Wiring and piping for utilities are added quickly and easily by installing conduits or cutting channels using hot air, which depresses the expanded polystyrene from the core of the panel without creating any residue. This optimizes the speed of the installation. Inserting electrical or telecommunications branch boxes is a very simple operation and can be fixed to the panels without any problem. In order to insert elements of larger installations, you can cut out sections of meshed areas from the panels which can be replaced afterwards with flat reinforced mesh. The next step is to apply a minimum 30 mm layer of concrete to the structure, which would normally be sprayed on in two phases. It is important to be aware of the relevant concrete drying times and to remember not to leave it too long before applying the second layer. Firstly, the vertical wall panels are sprayed followed by the ceilings, making sure they are well supported. Once the full structure has been concreted, it will meet the requirements for thermal and acoustic isolation, water tightness and habitability that all buildings should meet. A layer of compressed concrete is poured onto the floors and roof, which can be pumped from the center in the traditional manner. 
In the same way, once the center cores of the staircases have been assembled, you can concrete them. After the concrete has hardened, the building will be ready for the next floor by setting up the vertical panels and using the same construction methods as used on the ground floor build. Once this is done, you can erect the sloping roof in a similar way to the floor and reinforce the joints with angular mesh. Spray concrete the vertical walls, ceilings and roof as previously shown. We can use any type of normal finish on the layer of compressed concrete as well as laminated asphalt and ceramic tiles. There are a wide variety of finishes available. Within no time at all, the building is ready to be fitted out to your specifications and become a home. Thank you for taking a look at Bow Panel. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate in calling the Bow Panel team. Contact details can be found at www.bowpanel.com. We look forward to hearing from you soon.